Hey, in the last one here, welcome to Synthesize Sunday CT2. In this video, I would like to show you a cool sound which comes from my latest pack, Hybrid Trap Domination. And this is a song starter, so let me show you it first and then we will talk about the bass itself. So the main base here, well we have two main bases, but I want to talk about this guy here. Well, okay, these have several instances, several variations, so altogether they sound like this. Anyway, it is coming from Serum and it is a pretty simple patch and it is based on one wave table which is frequency saw from uh, one of the Cymatics wave table, special wave tables. Um, I don't know where is it to be honest. Frequency saw, this is it from wave tables 3, so this is the third package made, made by one of my coolest friends. Camille, anyway, so this is the wavetable itself, let me show you the sound. It contains several effects, so let's check the effects, so, but first let me tell you that it has 16 voices of unison. Without that, the sound is a little cleaner, but I don't know, it's just too weak and too flat for me. So this is the main wavetable and uh, I used LD41 to modulate the wavetable position and the asymmetric plus minus warp mode here. There is nothing else here basically, only the effects, a regular hyper dimension and some distortion on tube mode, nothing fancy here. I used a delay but this time to give it a metallic tone like I covered in like, I don't know, one or two synthesis and the episodes before. So this is kind of, you know, very short delay time and high feedback delay to make it, you know, like resonant or something like that. Plus I added a chorus and after the chorus I have an EQ which doesn't do too much, only cuts the very highs because it is very heavy on the top end. So I modulated it using LE41 and another notch, a very slight notch here on this area at about, well, 100 hertz between like six, seven hundred hertz. So, this EQ gives some more wobbly tone to it, plus an OTT compressor and a filter at the end to wash the full sound out a little more. Some more noisy content to it. And when I finish, I added a reverb, which I compress again using an OTT. So you have some nice compressed reverb onto it, which always sounds pretty good in Nero Trap. And another EQ to boost up the highs just a little on the reverb basically, and on the middle at around 1000 Hz. I cut the peaks using a saturator, and a very important ingredient here is an isotope trash, because without that I would, uh, well, for me the sound is just too, artificial and to serumy, you know, it's the top ends are very crystal clear, so I wanted to add some crunch to the very tops. And Isotope Trash is a great stuff for doing that. So, 
Crash definitely crunches those very tops, very highs, which I find too clear and too dry. So this is all basically. Plus I added one more instance where I changed only the wave table really. So all the wave table position, the asymmetry plus minus warp mode and all the effects are the same. I changed to the blob wave table and altogether so this is all the main base here and i think it sounds pretty good i hope you i hope you enjoy this so go down and check my pack if you are interested in that you can download this one preset this guy here from the descriptions below too and see you next week guys bye bye